Today's Mass Readings May 17, 2020 Sunday The Sunday of the sixth week of Easter First Reading A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Acts chapter 8 verse 5 to 8 and 14 to 17 Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 66 verse 1 to 7, 16 and 20. Let our response be, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of Peter. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 15 to 18. Beloved, Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that, when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God, put to death in the flesh. He was brought to life in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Before we proceed, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections on the comment section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's continue with the video. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 14 verse 15 to 21. Jesus said to his disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you, and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me. But you will see me, because I live and you will live. 
On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them, is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. The Reflection on Today's Gospel the Father will give you another Counselor, the Spirit of Truth. You know Him, for He dwells with you and will be in you. I know, Lord, that the same Holy Spirit joins me to you, as joined Jesus to His Father. That Spirit dwells in me, an abiding presence whose voice can easily be drowned by my everyday plans and concerns. To be open to the Spirit, I must quieten first my body, then my heart. Jesus speaks about being still alive even after his death. Mostly we find Jesus to be alive for us in the love of others. There is an energy of love which is connected to the energy of God. For God is love. This is the working of the Spirit of God. Alive in love, care and compassion, and in all other good works. Love is evident in action and any activity can be tiring. I do not need to rely on my own resources but turn to God, who promises to help me, ready to send the Holy Spirit. Like a bargain hunter or a bird spotter, I train my heart to recognize the ways of God. In this time of quiet God teaches me to see my world differently. I don't act in it alone but am accompanied by God's ever-present Spirit. <laughs> 